Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Carby Gatto, and I am so glad. I choose to be happy. I choose to be satisfied. I choose to be content because I have. And because I have, guess what? I don't have to worry about be having or behaving. Okay? So we're going to look at some wisdom today and it cannot be more emphasized <clears throat> about the message that you're listening to the information i know i've been saying this for many months now since i did entropy with information theory and we looked at information theory and what information is being added unto the members of your body because your body's intelligence <clears throat> is superior than your brain's intelligence. We just haven't let it be. <laughs> and today it is so significant for you to be super careful, super careful in walking into the promise of Christ Jesus. So let me just get into some information because literally when we're talking about information theory and information being added unto your members which are bits now think of a computer information and in computer is considered bits okay and bit by bit you're adding information to your members through your senses your eyes your ears right even touch those what you give your members over to the message that you're listening to and i just want to emphasize this because you know i heard god said and i just post don't let someone else's i mean else's storm become your storm because we're guilty of doing that listen addiction doesn't start with drugs your addiction doesn't manifest when you're on drugs or on alcohol or in bad relationships your addiction issues started way, way before that at an emotional level of trauma, drama, fear. And especially in the amygdala, which is the place of fear conditioning, where you end up camping out in that place of fear. Instead of camping in the good news, you camp in the bad news. And listen to this because this is such wisdom. When you are in the path of a storm, like those that are in the path of Elsa, it's personal to them and it's their storm and they need to use wisdom and they need to get ready to protect their house, their property, their body, get out of the way of the path of the storm, okay? They're getting out of the storm. They're not staying in the storm, okay? So it's no longer their storm. But this is the thing, how many people end up making Elsa, which is someone else's storm that are that's in the path of this storm, and they end up making that storm their storm. Why? Because they're addicted at the receptor level to the bad news of this present age of the world. Satan is the ruler of this age. And Satan is going to give out nothing but news, 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 news. It is going to be fear. It is going to be drama. It is going to be trauma. And it is literally, and I'll show you in such detail, it is literally going to clog your receptors up like a sewage pipe that is backed up. And you need a roto rooter. You need to get that root of the world out because you've chosen to drag the world in to your receptor. It is your choice. Don't say that, oh, well, so-and-so happens. Well, so-and-so. Get out of the room. If somebody's watching messages on conspiracy theory, get out of the room because Isaiah 8 is clear that that issue of being addicted to conspiracy, do not call a conspiracy what the, these men call conspiracy because it will cause men, it will cause people to fear man. And they will not fear God. They will not fear God. And so this is the thing. And I just want to give you an example because ever since Saturday, I cannot even get you to understand 
how much trauma has hit me and my mother. And it's not just related to my father. It's just different things. While, while he's in a recovery for open heart surgery, and thank you for your prayers, he's getting better. He does have a mild touch of pneumonia. He will go to the step down unit today. I'll see him after my walk. But ever since Saturday, I'm not talking about a little trauma. I am talking about every day. There has been a massive traumatic event that has hit me every day since up to yesterday. So for five days, for five days, I have been hit with trauma coming from every end. And this is the thing is I choose to not live in that trauma. I will not let it be a part of my life. It will not control me. I have full control over my environment, not my circumstances. I have control. I can choose to believe that trauma and to stay addicted at my receptor level with fear, which I'm not going to do in Jesus name because that's being full of the world. And that is evil. It's the knowledge of evil. And so many people would rather glory on the knowledge of evil and post it on their wall and wear people out and have nothing but the bad message, just like the spies, the 10 spies who brought back the evil report of the Lord. Do you know it was the evil report, the bad news? that the spies brought in because their receptors were clogged up with Egypt and they couldn't taste the honey in the manna. They couldn't taste it because they were desensitized to God's goodness. They were desensitized to the good news. And this is the thing, saints of God. Even up to yesterday, like I mentioned, trauma has hit every day, every day. And you would think, can I get a break? The choice is yours. You can get out of the emergency. And I was going to take a picture because when we're at the gym and we do a uh, chest exercise, we're right in front of the emergency exit. And remember, I told you last week about a sign that's at the gym that says power. And God says, put a pow to get out of the emergency room. <laughs> take your fist of truth of the word and punch Satan's emergency and get out of that emergency room. Okay, let me just show you how stupid Satan is because he is nothing but stupid. And don't get on here because I will delete your comment. You religious spirit and you spirit afraid of Satan. If you say, oh, we shouldn't say Satan is stupid. Yes, he is stupid. First Corinthians 2 says that, that if he would have known that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of God, he would have never crucified him. In other words, let me translate that into vernacular terms. Satan is stupid. He doesn't have the mind of Christ. He gets no glory. He does the same thing. And God showed me that emergency exit. And he told me, Mon he told me Saturday, Sunday, Monday, he said, Robin, tell my people to get out of the emergency, to take the emergency exit. But no, people, people, people choose to make someone else's storm that's in the path of the storm. They choose to make it their headline news because they want trauma. They feed on drama because they're an addict. Oh yeah, they might not be smoking pot. They might not be sniffing or snorting cocaine, but it is no different than snorting up fear. Our trauma news, drama news to your receptor level because you're an addict. You're an addict and you need to get freedom because unclean spirits are going to attach to you and you're going to have to work on casting out a demon instead of casting out an attitude. <laughs> now think on that, saints of God. Well, let me show you this, okay? So I was going to post that at the beginning of the week about the emergency X, and I'm still going to post it. I'm going to take a picture. I never did take the picture like I wanted to so I could post it. But get this. Yesterday, I'm at the hospital, my dad, an intensive care unit, and I'm there with my dad, okay? And one of my sons was with me, and something happened to him physically that all the nurses were coming 
to, uh, aid, to aid, to his aid, and to my aid, because it was not good. It wasn't good. And they were telling me to take him to the emergency room. And I said, no, because it's not what you say. It's not this, it's not that. And now it's happening while I'm with my dad, who's in intensive care on a chest tube. Thank God he's no longer on the ventilator. And I got to be there when they changed him from the mask to the nose tube. And he's no longer on that ventilator, said so that was the guy report. And while I'm there in the room with one of my sons, they had massive issue at that moment and it scared everybody and it was very traumatic and they were saying take him to the emergency room and of course his dad is a doctor so i contacted his dad because i had my gut feeling and he had his gut feeling and of course he told me what it was he totally was convinced of what was and do you see, Satan was trying to keep me and my family in a state of emergency, in a state of emergency. And I refused to let the devil keep me in a state of emergency. And I tell you, saints of God, there are so many people that are wearing the saints out. You got to get this in your nowhere in 2015 2016 god told me he said robin daniel 7 25 about the enemy changing the laws and the times and trying to wear out the saints he said that's not coming from outside of the church now listen to this it is coming from inside of the church where those who want the storm who are storm chasers and have dragged the world into the receptor where all they share is the world news and drama, trauma, and emergency, they have fellowshiped and fellowship with unclean things. And they're wanting to put that message because you're gonna find out that the reason that Israel that came out of Egypt couldn't get set free in the wilderness where the tabernacle of God was and he was camping and dwelling amongst them is because their souls still were camped in Egypt in the world and they had the world news they couldn't hear the voice of God it was thunder to them and they were afraid they couldn't taste the honey and the manna and I get into the physiology of that at the receptor level and I explained to you how they literally could not taste the honey and they were dissatisfied and so they asked for quail they asked for leeks and they got the judgment of God and they fell down some of them fell down dead and I explained how that is possible at a specific receptor level how immediately because of that receptor being under the world news how it literally caused them to die literally when the judgment of God come when the judgment of God did come. Now listen to this, saints of God, because you've got to hear me. You are either worshiping God or you're worshiping this world. And I would encourage you to not read messages of the world's news. Now I'm not saying don't pray when we need prayer and there needs to be prayer and vigilance on an issue. But when you make that the headline news, that is the evidence you're bound up. That's an evidence that you're an addict and people need to be away from you because your influence is dangerous to their soul. And so that's what you have to look at. That's what you have to consider. And just like the enemy every day since last Saturday would bring trauma to me every single day through a devil manifesting through someone that I'm close to and literally a demon's voice coming out of them and threatening me to others that uh, were issues were happening with one of my sons while I'm with my dad that was traumatic where issue of 
misinterpreted news to me where I wasn't sure about my father's, my father's um, life, I'll just put it that way, was misinterpreted to me by someone that didn't have medical literacy, knowledge, understanding. And so I was driving like a bat out of hell on that day and it was traumatizing, but I chose to not allow it to be my trauma. I chose what news I was gonna believe and I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. I'm not gonna be stuck in an emergency. I'm not going to stay in the emergency room. I'm taking the emergency exit. And the reason I am is because I'm not an addict. I'm not addicted. So think about that, saints of God. Are you listening to the emergency of this present age? Because if you are, you're definitely an addict and you need help. And the way that you get help is you start listening to the good news, you start listening to truth, and you choose the good news over the bad news. Because listen, only Joshua and Caleb entered the promised land out of the 12 spies. God was so, so, so angered at the 10 spies who gave the evil report because it became an infectious bacteria to the whole nation of Israel. And what was even worse is that evil report was given in a cave of Kodesh. Ben Kodesh, the cave of holiness. Do you understand this? That when the evil report comes against your members, it is coming against the holiness of God and you fearing and worshiping the Lord. So saints, watch out who you're listening to. There's so many people sharing the world news, making Elsa their storm when it's someone else's storm. Get out of the emergency, get out of the trauma. I love you, I care about you, but I know one thing, I'm not gonna be reading messages of trauma on other people's walls. It's just scroll by, later gator, <laughs> mute this wall, okay? I love you, God bless you, goodbye.